Ilyam Zakiev and his coach grapple during some light training in a London park. The double Paralympic gold medalist is about to defend his blind judo title, but he knows things could have been very different. One shot in the head, sniper, bullet, enter here, out here. Zakiev was injured while serving on the front line with the Azerbaijani military in a firefight with Armenian forces in 1999. The incident left him in a coma for five days and resulted in him losing his sight completely. His coach, who had already spotted his talent before the accident, says the sport was vital to his rehabilitation. The most important thing was to bring him back to life so he wasn't just locked inside at home. I'm like a parent to him, so I wanted to bring him back to his training so he could open up to life again. Since returning to judo, Zakiev has won three European championships and two world championships, as well as his two Olympic titles. His success has inspired others to get involved. In Athens in 2004, he was the only Azerbaijani judoist to compete but at London 2012, seven will be vying for medals. After carrying his country's flag in the opening ceremony at the last Paralympics in Beijing, he says he wouldn't change anything. I have no regrets about what happened because I just thank God that I survived. The doctor said it was a miracle that I survived and stayed alive. I am very happy with my job and what I do and I am proud of it, which is not something that many people can say. When the Azerbaijan flag is raised, I feel proud. Games organizers are hopeful that athletes like Zakiev will change how disabled people are viewed around the world. Physical access incredibly important, but it's what you build on top of that, how you make an inclusive society, how by staging the Paralympics, the games of the possible, we're able to fundamentally change attitudes towards disabled people, fundamentally change opportunities for disabled people. That's a tremendous prize. As London's landmarks don their new Paralympic attire, fans can be sure that the summer's sporting spectacle is not over yet.